Um, so I have been teaching for 12 years um, and la about a year ago in 2021, I wanted to kind of get out of teaching. And so I started trying to look for jobs in the business world on my own. And I, you know, sent a whole lot of resumes and only got a couple of interviews. And I'm sure the people are laughing because <laughs> I was not very good at interviewing and I didn't know what to say coming from a teaching background. Um, and so I really kind of failed a year ago trying to do it on my own. Um, I didn't know about Salesforce at the time. I just wanted to get out of teaching and maybe something in the business world, but I didn't really know what. Um, and so this past school year I just finished, um, I, I started strong, but then again, I was like, mm, I really need to get out of teaching. It's just the whole, it's all very different from when I started. Um, it's, I love my students, but just everything else is what really, you know, most people know about. But, um, but then I heard about Salesforce in December um, on the Choose FI podcast, like a lot of people. And so that's where I found out about it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that, that's perfect for me because I'm pretty techy. Like even as a teacher, I'm usually creating a lot of stuff myself and doing a lot of things on the computer. So I was like, this would be a perfect blend for me. And so then I found out about Talent Stacker um, through that podcast and did the five day challenge um, in December and kind of throughout the, I had it on, uh, on break for a couple of weeks from teaching in December for the holidays. And that's when I really did a lot of um, the trailhead stuff to kind of dive into it and um, really loved it. I loved every second of it. So, but I hadn't joined Talent Stacker yet because I was like, oh, it's a lot of money. I don't know. And so, but in early January, I was like, I need to do this because I tried to do it on my own and not that you can't do it on your own, but it's just, I felt like there was people to guide me and like a cheering section kind of, right? There's like a whole group of people that want to see you succeed. So I joined in early January, um, joined Talent Tucker and actually got certified at the end of January. So like I mentioned, I started in December um, a little bit before the break, the holiday break, but I really hit it hard during the holiday break. Um, because I didn't have to worry anything about teaching during that time. And so that really got momentum going. But then once I started back into teaching, like I tried to do a good hour to two hours every day when I got home from work. Um, and then on the weekends, depending on what was going on the weekends, a little bit more than that. So um, for the, for, till I finished, till I got certified, that was probably a pretty, you know, and then that week before I got certified, was really a lot of cramming <laughs> into my brain. But um, other than that, like it was, I would say on average, it was like a couple hours per day extra on top of that, uh, you know, my work and stuff. So once I did the volunteer project, um, that was pretty intense, but it was really, like I said, it was really worth it. Um, that, full, that month of doing the project was almost every day, a few hours a day. We had a lot of meetings, you know, my team had a lot of meetings um, and then also doing the work needed for the project on top of that. But I loved it, like it was so much fun. So it was kind of like, I didn't even think about it, um, which is different than studying. Cause studying, you know, it's fun in a way, but once you are done with the trailhead and you're just studying, it's not as fun. Um, but the volunteer project was awesome. Like it was fun. Um, once I finished the volunteer project and I was just interviewing for jobs, that's when I slowed down a little bit, but then I was kind of like, what do I do? <laughs> like, what do I do with myself? Um, so I just, I worked on super badges and things like that while I was interviewing um, to try to show employers that I was still working on learning more. Um, and I started studying for my next cert, just kind of a little bit slower paced, but you know, just to be working towards the next goal. Um, but you know, at that point I was just really working on, um, some, you know, interviewing, interviewing and connecting um, with recruiters on LinkedIn and stuff. So. Definitely because the volunteer project, like you're, a, you are assigned certain parts of the project that you are completely responsible for. So when you're, when I went into interviews, like I felt like I had something tangible that I have done in Salesforce to talk about. And um, actually for the job that I just got, like I, for my final interview, I had to present something that I had done in Salesforce. And so I took what I did in my volunteer project and I created a little PowerPoint and everything, slide deck. 
and show them exactly what I did. And so I really feel like that helped me get the job just because I could speak to what I have done. And, you know, I just think it really gave me confidence, but also something tangible to show that I've done in Salesforce. Yeah, so like I mentioned, it was my LinkedIn was very basic a year ago when I was trying to find jobs outside of teaching. But once I did the five day challenge with Bradley Rice and I really kind of pumped up my LinkedIn and kind of better understood how to utilize it in the job search, like it really took off. Like I really started trying to form lots of connections that would be beneficial to me, a lot of Salesforce related connections. Um, and I definitely think that that totally got me my job because I, on my job search, once I got to maybe mid April, I didn't really search very hard because I wanted to make it to the end of the school year. Cause I was like, I don't want to get a job and then like quit with like four weeks of the school year left. And so like, I kind of wasn't really trying that hard. Like if a recruiter reached out to me, then of course I would interview and all that. But I was not actively like really trying to apply to anything at all the last two months of school just because of the, the timing. Um, and so I actually got my job because I reached out to a recruiter um, just randomly just to connect with them on LinkedIn. And then he happened to say, hey, are you, you know, you want to have it, you know, the phone screen? And I was like, yeah, that's great. And that's kind of where it started. So, I mean, it, I the, all the interviews that I got, um, the last month and month and a half, I didn't apply to anything. It was all recruiters reaching out to me or I connected with them on LinkedIn. The, from the very first interview when they told me about the position and all of the, you know, onboarding and like really training me into the role that I want, like, I was like, this is the position I really want. And so when I found out that I got it, like, you know, I may have done a little bit of jumping around and dancing around the house. Like, it was so cool. Like, I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, it's almost like you can't believe it until it really happens. Like, you just, it's really, it's really wonderful. Like, I'm still probably on a flying high from that, so. <laughs> um, I would say uh, after the volunteer project, when I really started um, interviewing a lot more. Um, I think that's when I kind of started realizing that I need to project those soft skills and really sell those um, and really start to think about what they were. And I definitely think like communication is a really strong one for teachers. Um, we communicate to many different audiences throughout the day. We have parents, administrators, students, you know, fellow teachers, you know, a very variety of audiences. Um, I think we're great at explaining things, which really lends itself well to like consulting, trying to help clients understand how Salesforce can help them. Um, I just think, you know, just people management, like we're really good conflict managers and like peacemakers. Um, just, I don't know, I just, I just feel like that those are probably the strongest skills we carry, plus organizational skills, you know, we definitely are strong in that because we have to juggle a lot of things when we're teachers. Um, that really helps us as we transition into Salesforce. Well, and I, I didn't expect to have all the resources for like Platform App Builder. You know, I'm working on that cert. Um, so it's, I love that they continue to pour into their members even after they've gotten certified and maybe even gotten a job and everything. Like there's so many other resources available all the interviews you know that justin has done that are on there like there's so many resources to help people aside from the obvious things um that are worth their weight you could probably charge another thousand dollars for all of that you know <laughs> easy so definitely those things i was not expecting that and it's been really helpful to say the biggest impact will just be salary you know I think I increased salary I've been teaching 12 years and I have increased my salary $13,000 in 12 years um, so I really just feel like salary is going to be huge you know because there's so much more potential for growth there so that will really help my family get to our financial goals much faster than 
ever, you know, when it, as a teacher. So definitely that. And then just being able, more flexible with my time, being able to work from home um, is insanely beneficial. Like as a teacher, it was almost impossible to take off days the last year to just trying to find a sub and getting approval and all that. So just being able to take off when I need to take off is really crazy to me. Like I can't quite wrap my mind around that just yet, but and then just working from home is fun. Like my dog loves it. So she's loving that I get to stay home with her every day. Um, I feel like I learned that I can do anything that I put my mind to, you know? Um, sometimes things can seem really kind of overwhelming and challenging at times, because definitely Salesforce, I would probably never know all of it. Um, but, you know, taking it in chunks and just doing one thing at a time is really, been eye-opening to me to see how those small changes add up every day over the course of a week or a month or several months, you know, because this time six months ago, I barely knew about Salesforce and now I'm completely in a new career. So just those small changes can make a huge difference.